Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. Last week, we told you how to understand the economy in five easy steps. This week, we focus on one of the most important indicators, that is consumer spending. How we shop affects the economy. Consumer spending is 70% of the economy. But there are three things to note about how the retail industry is changing post-COVID. One, retail has had a pretty topsy-turvy ride. Actually, it was the quickest indicator to recover after the pandemic, but it's been boosted at some point by direct payments and federal spending to consumers. It's been dampened at other points as COVID fears really suppressed uh, consumer buying. Last month, where we saw the most recent data, uh, retail sales was flat from month over month, even after they surged 11% uh, from March. So that's all to say that there's no straight line in retail sales. Consumers have become a little fussy when it comes to spending, and it's really driven by their comfort with re-engaging within the pandemic. So that's something we're watching for for the year. The second thing to keep in mind is close to my heart, our favorite watering holes, that food and beverage industry, because that's been one of the areas of retail that's been hardest by the pandemic. And we're seeing that uh, this industry, this part of the industry is actually poised to benefit from everything that has been positive about the vaccine rollout to date, that many Americans are getting vaccinated. Our children are now eligible to be vaccinated. Took my 16-year-old uh, a couple of weeks ago to get vaccinated, my 13-year-old tomorrow. And that even the masks that we've all been wearing outside can come out from the for, for the vaccinated in some places. The third thing to keep in mind is that this industry is one that has been undergoing tremendous change for years now. For years now, we've seen the closure of brick and mortars. Too many retail stores uh, that are in the United States had to close and really reduce their real estate footprint. Uh, we've seen these changes for three main reasons. One, technological change. Um, you know, it's so easy to comparison shop online now. You don't need to actually go into the store. Two, I've already alluded to too many stores and really the need to condense those stores. And three, a change in consumer behavior, people getting more comfortable just buying online. In fact, e-commerce has surged during the pandemic, pulling forward years of change into a few short months. For these three reasons, we're, we're really seeing retail change retail sector evolve over the pandemic. Some of these trends were long in the making. Some of them happened just during the course of the year, but they'll all likely survive post-pandemic. And how we shop, very important to Main Street, important to shoppers, important to business owners, and important to those of us who are willing to dust off our credit cards and get shopping again. Thank you for watching the Main Street Macro blog. For more of our insights on the week ahead, please go to ADPRI.org.